Hello guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be making the spring cleaning headband in real life. This was a pretty simple item to make, so although I haven't structured this video as a tutorial, I'm sure you guys will be able to follow along if you'd like to make this yourself. Speaking of you guys making things, I'll be hosting another Royal High in real life community showcase once we hit 40,000 subscribers. So, if you'd like your Royal High crafts to be shown in a dedicated video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Anyway, let's get into the crafting. I luckily had this wine white ribbon left over from a cosplay I made four years ago, and I used tiny hair straighteners to get the creases out. After that, I planned where I wanted the pleats to be. I had already measured how long I needed the ribbon ruffles to be before I started recording, so I used measuring tape to make sure everything was symmetrical and the ribbon was the right length. Once it was all pinned, I hand stitched the pleats in place and then I got this lace trim and did the same thing to that. However, when it came to securing the lace ruffles in place, I just sewed them directly onto the ribbon. This next step I would have done with white bias tape, but I didn't have any so I'm using black instead. Since I want to attach it to a headband, I'm creating a tube with the bias tape by doing a ladder stitch on the edges of the bias tape whilst trapping the ribbon and lace in the middle. I'm not sure if that made any sense. After it was all done, I slipped a plastic headband through the bias tape tube and I realised that the lace was having a difficult time staying up so I added a very tiny invisible stitch in four different places to keep the lace standing up. The very last detail to add were the ribbon bows on either side of the headband, so I took this thin ribbon, straightened it out and cut it in half, then just tied them into place in a bow. I didn't bother securing them in place just so that gives me the freedom to remove it all from the headband and take up less storage room because I'm going to be honest with you guys, when you've been making Royal High cosplay for over two years, it starts to take up a lot of space. And here's the finished headband. This was a super quick video, but I still wanted to upload a new RHIRL item for this month. With that said though, I hope you still enjoyed the video and excited for new videos. Also, if you ever want to know what my social medias are, just look in the descriptions of any of my videos and you'll find them all. And with nothing else to say, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.